और नेक्स्ट स्पीकर डॉक्टर रोहित यादव डॉक्टर रोहित यादव इज ए स्ट्रेटेजिक इम्प्लांट लॉजिस्ट एंड प्रोस्टोरोंटिस्ट ही इज आई एफ टीचर एंड आई एफ मास्टर एंड आई एफ टीचर ही प्लेस ऑफ इस प्लेस ऑफ एजुकेशन इज किंग जॉर्ज मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी लखनऊ इन इंडिया प्रेजेंटली ही इज डायरेक्टर एट रिहेब डेंटल नोएडा एंड कंसल्टेंट स्ट्रेटेजिक इम्प्लांट लॉजिस्ट ओवर टू यू सर थैंक यू सर now good evening everyone <clears throat> so first of all start with paying regards to dr stephen ide who is the father of modern cortico basal implantology and we all are blessed because of him only so give a big applause to him now coming to my topic for today is nasal floor engagement and canine bypass <coughs> this presentation will be more of uh, experience based approach so for beginners it will be um, hope so it will be uh, more useful now first of all <coughs> start with what i imbibed from my experience in cortico basal implantology basically there are two main goals or we can say objectives that uh, the cortico basal implantology incorporates first is using the existing bone of the patient guys in cortico basal implantology it's all about how best we can use the existing or native bone of the patient we are not outsourcing a bone we are using whatever is available to us okay so that uh, should be kept in mind during treatment planning next is typical immediate functional loading guys there are only two ways through which we can do typical immediate function loading either we cortical corticalize the cancellous bone or we directly engaging the cortical bone area many people say that this system of science uh, can be should be used uh, in no bone or minimal bone cases but guys we have a variety of designs of implant okay and uh, these implants are made with a vision that in almost all the cases in almost all the cases these goals has been completed it has been accomplished in almost all the cases so the, so irrespective of the condition of the bone or uh, condition of the patient we can treat almost all the cases successfully as far as function and aesthetic is concerned now coming to the main stream of the topic nasal floor engagement guys which is the placement of apical third of the implant into the cortical floor of the nose for encares that is the nasal floor engagement but why nasal floor guys in cortico basal implantology we we have to engage the typical bone area but guys in uh, it's uh, the typical bone area we cannot find everywhere especially in our jaw especially in maxilla so we have to concentrate on those area where the typical cortical bone is inevitably present and nasal floor is one of that area and uh, that is a that has a stable bone reliable bone it does not uh, change morphological does not show the morphological changes uh, with time and uh, yes this uh, nasal floor is come under the second cortical in this uh, here is the green show showing the second cortical areas you can appreciate now but how to achieve it guys to be able to achieve it you should be, be uh, you should be very uh, you should be you should have a proper and thorough command over the over the procedure and uh, for that we should be very sound with our uh, with our knowledge of anatomy or its variation of that particular site okay so my suggestion is recall uh, the anatomy of that particular site uh, with time to time invest your time in recalling that anatomy keep a skull ready at your place observe deeply time to time so that will help you to think three dimensionally guys in this cortico basal implantology is all about 3d or 4d based implantology unlike unlike conventional conventional implant that uh, work uh, under one or two planes okay so it is a uh, different game altogether now the exact